is a prototype of our 50 qubit quantum computer, uh, which is the largest quantum computer out there right now. Um, really, all of this infrastructure is built basically to support the chip, which is the computer itself, which sits about here inside of this metal container. And the reason this is all here is you want to isolate that chip from any form of noise. Um, and the, the most dominant form of noise we're trying to isolate here is actually just temperature itself, the, the temperature of the room. So if this were running, this would be encased in a, in a, a white shield that would all be vacuum, uh, vacuumed out to very low pressures. Um, the top of this would be at 4, 4 Kelvin, which is basically liquid helium temperature. Each of these plates has uh, various dilution refrigerator pumping going on. It would be very loud in the room if it were running. And they get colder and colder. This is about 800 millikelvin. It goes down through 100 millikelvin. You get down here in the bottom, this is 10 millikelvin, which is 10 millionths of a degree above absolute zero. So really getting as close to zero as you really physically can at this point. The idea of a quantum computer is when instead of having to go through serially exploring every single uh, combination of numbers, by putting everything in a superposition of one and zero, you can essentially test all the numbers against a problem at once in parallel. So it gives you a massive parallelization. Areas um, you could use this in would be um, uh, any kind of problem that involves optimizations um, or large search spaces. Um, quantum chemistry is a very good, uh, a very good source for this um, because right now when we simulate molecules or atoms, the number we can do is very limited, just based on the number of quantum states involved. This would simulate that directly. That's good also for things like drug discovery, new materials analysis, or materials discovery. Um, and, and finally, machine learning. Uh, potentially using this to look at very large data spaces and be able to narrow down a problem so it becomes more amenable to doing more, it's a more standard machine learning and artificial intelligence approaches to it.